Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Christopher Ecclestone from Halgarten and Company. How are you today, Christopher? Very well, thanks. I am reviewing, as we speak, your latest research report called Metal Price Preview, dusting off the crystal ball, and you're going where no analyst should probably go, which is you are basically forecasting where metal prices will be in 2022. Is that correct? Yes, indeed. And anyone who wants to that invest in the resource sector can get this on your website. Is that correct? Yep. Yep. It's open access. Well, I want everybody at Investor Intel to go and read this report. That's how good I think it is. So I'm going to start with a question everyone really wants to know, which is, how did it go in 2021's forecast? Um, not too well. The market was actually way, way better than even we would have uh, predicted. Um, and so, except for copper, which we almost got right, um, many of the other things um, uh, you just outperformed amazingly. Uh, who would have thought that uranium would rise from the dead and that type of thing? Um, and the battery metals, of course, went from being hot to being a, an inferno. Um, so uh, valuations there went crazy. And even things that I like, like antimony and tin, went crazy too. So in other words, what you're saying is you got it right with copper, but which one did you get wrong? Which was your worst call? Because, you know, Christopher, as you know, people out there love to know when we make mistakes. They don't enjoy our, our wins. So what was your biggest, you know, loser last year that was actually a winner? Um, uh, too many to mention. Um, the market just went, went crazy. And... Um, um, most of the base metals were, didn't surprise us. Um, gold was disappointing. Um, we would have thought gold would have stayed where it was, but it went down. Um, really, it was in the battery metals, I'd say, that we were, um, except for vanadium, which we got right. Um, the Most of the rest, I, I never thought that, uh, you know, cobalt would, for instance, um, be as frenzied as it was. And it, and it, it ended up being that way. So Everyone kept saying cobalt was going to be replaced and the West was going to come up with other solutions to avoid the DRC. And um, in the end, they just had to go out and buy it. So in dusting off the crystal ball, give us one titillating forecast or at least let us have a taste of why we should read what is really a very well-written 14-page document. What resource, what metal perhaps, is your favourite for 2022? Um, gold. Gold and silver. Um, you know, we've seen gold, and, you know, you never thought you would hear me uh, recommending gold, but um, I do see gold as being something that is going to be um, performing pretty well this year. Now, many things did so well last year that you've got to say, what well, is there any more mileage? Uh, but definitely in gold, there is more mileage. Um, because we've got two factors. Now we've got this uh, international um, instability and you've got the inflation factor. And both of those represent um, tailwinds for gold and in its way, silver. Well, you heard it here at Investor Intel. So we'll be checking back with you at the end of the year to see how you did. And if I heard you correct, no. <laughs> gold and silver. Thank you, Christopher. And for everybody out there, Hellgarten and Company, there's a link right here on the screen. Good, thank you.